This tube starts out life as a flat piece of, of steel, just like this piece of paper. It goes into a press where it's, where it's formed and shaped into a tube that's round with two flat, two flat flanges on it. Another piece of steel, the runner, is inserted between those flanges and then it's, then it's soldered and welded in here. So this, this type of construction is necessary given the technology that has been in place for a hundred years in metal forming, and it's uh, and it's worked it's worked quite well for a long for a long time period. But there's some severe limitations. It's one of the reasons why aluminum tube blades, especially for short track, have become popular. Uh, you can produce a a much stiffer construction. You have a lot of different metal alloys that you can use for this. Um, but now, because of you're using a aluminum tube with a steel insert. You can't weld this together, it has to be glued. So this, this blade is inserted into a slot into the tube and they use various adhesives to hold this in place. But the aluminum has, has a lot of limitations. In order for it to be sturdy enough, you have to overbuild the tube so it ends up being too stiff and you lose all the feel that is possible to have the flexibility that's inherent in this design. So trying to take the best of both, this tube is fabricated as a very high quality aircraft grade steel tube, extremely thin wall, very stiff, very light, um, but using a completely different method of construction, this steel runner can be placed directly against the steel tube and laser welded. There's no flange, it doesn't need it, so it ends up lighter and we can we can adjust the stiffness of this tube and the height and the stiffness of this runner to arrive at different feel and different grades of feel and stiffness on the ice uh, and give the athlete, give the skater a choice in what they want. 